you've been experiencing chest discomfort during your evening walk or when climbing stairs. It disappears once you stop moving but it troubles you nonetheless. Discussing these symptoms with your doctor is strongly advised whenever you have unusual or out of the ordinary aches and pains. Exercise stress tests, treadmill tests, or an exercise electrocardiogram ECG, are vital tools utilized for many years. Usually, when someone has predictable chest pain patterns during exercise or overexertion, it is often diagnosed as angina. Angina happens when the heart muscle isn't receiving enough blood, usually during physical activity. What is an exercise stress test measure? The purpose of an exercise stress test is to use an electrocardiogram to record the heart's electrical activity. The ECG reading can discover changes that can point to abnormalities in blood flow caused by blockages within arteries or other heart-related problems. What happens during an exercise stress test? Exercise stress tests are usually conducted by an exercise physiologist and supervised by a physician. Some exercise stress tests will use a treadmill but some may use an exercise bike. In addition, anyone unable to use their legs can use an arm-powered exercise machine. The person administering the stress test will place small, sticky adhesive pads on your chest and abdomen. Each pad is attached to a plastic-coated wire that feeds into the ECG system. A cuff on your arms periodically measures your blood pressure. Before beginning the test, a baseline reading will be taken while you're at rest. Then you will begin walking on a treadmill at a slow pace, under 2 miles per hour. As you walk on the treadmill, the clinician monitors your heart's electrical activity, heart rate, and blood pressure. The goal is to exercise until you are too tired or out of breath. Some people may experience leg or chest pain causing them to stop. If the clinician discovers worrisome ECG or blood pressure changes, they will stop the test. Interpreting the results. The findings will either indicate everything is normal, abnormal or unclear. For example, no exercise stress test is 100% accurate and about 10% to 15% of people with normal results may have significant coronary heart disease. If the results come back abnormal, this will warrant additional tests. An exercise ECG test that likely indicates further testing includes ECG changes signaling the heart isn't getting enough blood, likely because of artery narrowing or blockages. If the heart is not beating as fast as it should with strenuous exercise or it is taking too long to slow down after exercise, you may have an electrical problem or another heart abnormality. If your systolic blood pressure, the top number, does not rise by at least 10 to 20 mm Hg or begins falling during exercise, you have heart muscle or valve abnormalities. If unusual heart rhythms are found, it may suggest coronary artery disease, cardiomyopathy, or an inherited heart problem. Takeaway message. Exercise stress tests are meant to be an interpretive tool for diagnosing coronary artery disease, CAD, or other heart issues. If your results come back positive for possible CAD, it simply means further testing will likely be advised. And even if your stress test is negative for heart disease, heart attacks can happen with small blockages that can break off and form clots. Unfortunately, these smaller blockages often have few if any symptoms until a heart attack occur. But, knowing your family medical history, especially family heart disease history, can help determine if you need additional testing. Bottom line, your doctor will be your best guide and source of information on interpreting your exercise stress test results and advising you on what steps to take.